School shooting in Texas has once again sparked a local debate about safety in schools, specifically the need for school resource officers. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is now pushing for an officer in every single school. Marcella Robertson is live at Hayfield Secondary School in Fairfax County with the latest on that. Marcella, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, Governor Youngkin met with some of his cabinet members yesterday to discuss those next steps in school safety, specifically in Virginia. And that includes trying to revive his $50 million plan to put a school resource officer in every single school in the state, including elementary schools. In the meantime, Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis and some parents say it is time for this debate over SROs to be over. They are in support of having those officers in schools. Now, currently in Fairfax County, every middle school and every high school has at least one SRO. Some even have two and those who support it like Chief, like Chief Davis and some parents say it simply adds to safety in schools. Conversations I've had with principals and administrators and teachers throughout you know, my career, uh, they realize the value of police officers inside the schools. We have a whole, over 180,000 students, so we have we have a potential uh, that something can happen because of the amount of people that attend our schools. Now, on the other side of this issue, those who do not believe that police should be in schools. Earlier this year, a bill requiring Virginia schools to have a full time police officer failed in the Senate. Uh, organizations like the ACLU argue that policing in schools disproportionately target students of color and students with disabilities. Now, as far as the governor's plan goes for those SROs in every school, it is not too late to add it to the budget and it could likely be up for discussion again next week. In fact, uh, Virginia lawmakers are headed back to Richmond next week on June 1st to discuss that budget for a special session. That's the latest here in Fairfax County. Back to you guys. Marcella Robertson reporting live. Thank you. And it appears March for Our Lives is planning a return to D.C. and other cities next month. This post online says the group plans to gather on Saturday, June 11th on New York Avenue Northwest. Uh, March for Our Lives is a student led demonstration in support of gun control legislation. It first took place back in March of 2018 and thousands or hundreds of thousands of people came out to D.C. for the rally.